Guinea pig owners, listen up. This is one of the most common health conditions I see in female guinea pigs. This guinea pig right here has cystic ovaries. Common signs of cystic ovaries include pain when being handled, lethargy, decreased appetite, a distended abdomen or pear-shaped body, weight loss, vaginal bleeding, and swollen, crusty nipples like you see here. There are different types of ovarian cysts, such as radius cysts and follicular cysts, and depending on the cells involved, some guinea pigs will develop bilateral, non paritic or not itchy alopecia or hair loss on each side of their body. Follicular cysts are suspected to cause hair loss, but they're less common than radius cysts. In rare cases, neoplasia or cancer can be the cause of ovarian cysts. The best way to diagnose these is through an ultrasound, although visualization can be challenging and sometimes impossible due to the gas in their gastrointestinal tract. The treatment of choice, which you see here, is surgery. In cases where the uterus is not diseased, an ovariectomy can be performed. But if you suspect cancer, infection, uterine hyperplasia, or endometriosis, then an ovariohysterectomy should be performed instead. Depending on the type of surgery and your veterinarian's preference, either a ventral midline or two flank incisions can be used. I always warn owners about the potential complications of these procedures, including hemorrhage, cyst rupture, cecal laceration, GI stasis, ovarian remnant syndrome, and even death. Some follicular cysts may respond to hormone therapy, such as cystorellin. These are usually two injections given 14 days apart. Unfortunately, this only works for some cases, and relapses are common. One study showed that 93% of guinea pigs over the age of 2 had at least one ovarian cyst. Unfortunately, the only way to prevent cystic ovaries is to spay your guinea pig when they're younger. Have you ever had a guinea pig with cystic ovaries? If you have or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.